In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Ghent. At number 1, we have Castle Gravenstein. This 12th century castle is a breathtaking sight that has been restored to its former glory. The interior may lack furnishings, but it more than makes up for it with a guillotine and suits of armor. Don't miss the costume drama set in the castle's rooms and battlements. At number 2, we have the Adoration of the Mystic Lamb. This early 15th century oil painting has a fascinating history, including being hidden in a salt mine and having missing panels. It's a must-see for art enthusiasts. At number 3, we have Patterscholl. This area is a hidden gem filled with great restaurants. The winding cobbled lanes and houses offer a glimpse into what Ghent was like many years ago. It's a food lover's paradise. At number 4, we have St. Peter Sabdige Abbey. This is one of the largest abbeys in Belgium and was once the center of Ghent. The abbey boasts an impressive mural and a state-of-the-art video tour that lasts an hour and a half. At number 5, we have St. Baf's Cathedral. This cathedral is not just the home of the Adoration of the Mystic Lamb. It's an architectural marvel in its own right, featuring stunning stained glass windows and original Rubens artwork. At number 6, we have Huis Van Alene. This museum was formerly a children's hospice and offers a detailed look at what life was like in Ghent from the end of the 18th century to the early 20th century. At number 7, we have the Belfort. This 14th century belfry has its own dragon in weather vane form. The real attraction is the panoramic view from the top of the tower. At number 8, we have Mokabon. Forget Starbucks. This cozy coffee house offers classic Belgian coffee topped with whipped cream. It's the perfect place to relax. At number 9, we have the Museum of Industry. Set in a former mill building, this museum covers 250 years of industrial history in Ghent. It even offers great views of the city from the top floor. At number 10, we have Stam. This museum explores Ghent's history and pre-history, rewinding 70,000 years into the past. It's housed in a building that was formerly a nunnery. At number 11, we have Vrishdagmarkt. This square hosts a weekly market every Friday and was once the city's spot for public executions. It's a great place for people watching and admiring the statue of Ghent's famous leader, Artevelde. At number 12, we have Stadhuis. This city hall is a stunning example of flamboyant and gothic architecture. It's a popular spot for weddings and offers hour-long tours. At number 13, we have Ghent Cuisine. The city offers a diverse range of food options, from traditional Belgian stews to world-class chocolates. Don't leave without trying some pralines. At number 14, we have the Water Tram. This hop-on, hop-off water tram offers a unique way to see some of the city's sights, including the Castle of the Counts and St. Peter's Abbey. At number 15, we have the MSK, Museum of Fine Arts. Housed in a building that resembles an ancient Greek temple, this art gallery features works from Belgian and Low Countries artists ranging from the 14th to the 20th century. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Ghent. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.